Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Zero Tons TVZT here. Moving on to Group D now. And this one's pretty special, actually. We've got a foreigner player here. We've got Elki. There he is on the left. The French Terran also played uh, Warcraft 3 professionally and is now, I think, a poker player. So he's kind of been around in this sort of strategic com competition scene. <laughs> he's made his way around. I think that it's usually the type of player I'll, that you, you kind of think is going to be the best in... Uh, like the general stuff, like the strategy, if you, especially I think if you play something like poker or maybe chess, it's probably your specialty is more on that scene. Um, maybe less so with the mechanics. Uh, Warcraft 3 is an awesome game. I do love it, but it is just true that, mechanically speaking, it is not nearly as demanding as something like Brood War. And obviously chess, or not chess, well chess as well, but uh, poker, it's not at all about mechanics, it's more about strategy and really how to lie well. So. Uh, anyway, his opponent there is going to be, it looks like an orange Protoss, this is Kingdom. Elki is the green Terran. So, I mean, we can all be kind of biased here. It's all right. We can all cheer for Elki and just be honest about it. I know we did have some uh, pretty good results, especially earlier on. I think in 2001, he made the finals of something. Or was like top four in a Korean tournament, which is pretty good. Pretty damn good. Um... Definitely transitioned away from Brood War, though, is what it looked like from his Liquipedia page. Kind of went into Warcraft 3, understandably. Um, I think part of what makes Koreans so good at StarCraft is, like, so it's their mechanics, but why do they have better mechanics than everyone else? Well, because they just play so fucking much in their team house. <laughs> I don't know any other uh, explanation for it. Um, it. It just seems like you need to be in this sort of environment where you keep practicing and keep you know, leveling up your hands, I guess, and keeping that level really high. Warcraft 3, like I said, a little less demanding on the mechanical side, but very strategic and not easy mechanically, I'm not saying that, but it's more about micro and, and kind of understanding how to micro, which lends it more into that strategy, which I don't know that you need to be in a team house to gain. It seems like those mechanics, though, are just like something that you get from being in that sort of environment. Uh, so kind of understandable that someone who doesn't live in Korea uh, would gravitate more towards Warcraft 3. That said, War <laughs> Korea is probably the best nation for Warcraft 3 as well, or definitely one of. It's definitely a lot more competition, though. Um, you know, Moon, probably the best Night Elf player ever. A Korean player, but, you know, he loses to... Oh my god. Elki just lost an SCV, no! Uh, anyway, but Moon, you know, he loses to Russian players, and he loses to, you know, French players, or American, well, maybe not Americans. Americans suck at video games, just saying. Uh, but they, they, uh, you know, he'll lose to a lot of foreigners, and it's definitely a lot more competitive. You know, Grubby, with his, uh, pretty famous match, the WC, uh, no, was it WCS? Yeah, World Cyber Games. WCG, there we go. Uh, it, uh, I think it was 2008. So, kind of understandable, but now that I'm done with my incredibly long <laughs> rant, there's a Zealot here, and it is actually getting a ton of damage done. I think two more SCVs have died so far, so three SCVs dead. Kingdom, four SCVs now, is kind of just working Elki over right now. It's a little sad. You might want to take the sunglasses off so you can actually see. Maybe that's the problem here. This 2-gate is kind of stomping right now. I think that's the fifth SCV to go down. It's so sad for Elki. <laughs> what a terrible opening for him. And 
even with this bunker finish now, oh my god, another SCV, another one was about to go down, yeah it did, uh, even with this bunker finish now, you know, Kingdom can't just kill his workers, or his, uh, his marines, but this whole top part of his mineral line is still in danger, two more zealots walk in, now there's five, or actually I think four, one died, uh, I, yeah, four zealots in Elki's main, just raising terror. This is really sad for him. A vulture does now come out, and a vulture is going to be pretty good for pushing these zealots out, but you got to think Kingdom is building probes at home. He's been teching up. He must have a worker lead by now, and these zealots are still getting STV kills. This is so tragic for Elki. Definitely not the way he wanted this game to start. Oh, two more SCVs go down. Now finally just down to the last zealot. Will it get one more? Yes, it kills another SCV. Rough. Really rough. Um, yeah. <laughs> you'd, uh, you'd hope for some better worker micro there. Uh, actually a very important skill for Warcraft 3 is being able to pull your workers back while they get harassed. Um, pretty tough. I, I don't know what race he played in War 3, but it is kind of different depending on race. Night Elf doesn't have to worry about that quite as much. They're more about getting those workers in there for some cheeky detonates. Ah, nice Death Knight. What if it had no mana? Actually, Death Knight's a bad example. It's only kind of recent, it seems, that Undead has been... You can just call it playable. Not sure exactly why, but uh, a lot of really good undead players now. Uh, these two goons are getting more worker kills. Oh my god, I think that's three. Finally one of them dies, and the last one kind of bugs out a bit, so... Not a terrible uh, trade, I guess? I don't know, it's so tough from here. Kingdom's just gonna, looks like he's just gonna make some Dragoons and try to win the game with them. Cannot blame him, especially with range uh, done. Just being able to shoot this bunker and force Elki to repair it while he's very safe. It's not like Elki can run up. And also, you know, you can just do this and get some more SCV kills. Elki said still like, like 10 SCVs at this point in the game. It's very tragic for him. More dying now. Really wouldn't blame him for just GGing. These are best of ones, so can't really blame him for playing it out, but you can just see it on his face. He knows. It's over. Ah, uh, yeah. Sometimes you just die to the two gate, I guess, man. What can you do? There's definitely enough goons here to kill off this tank. It's about to die. Yeah, it does. There we go. GG from Elki. Really unfortunate for him that, uh, that initial zealot, I think like the first three zealots, he just really didn't have the micro against them. Maybe he's a little tired, he's a little slow, but uh, you know, Kingdom did a good job. He had some decent zealot micro. Definitely wasn't like an all-in cheesy type of build. It is an aggressive thing, I and mean, you do want a bit of damage done if you're two-gating like that. But you don't need to kill them with it. You can definitely play a macro game from that. You can just get into Dragoons, get range. You can take a base pretty safely afterward, but you could also just kill all your opponent's SCVs with your zealots and then not even bother with all that other shit and just kill them with range goons after. And uh, unfortunately for Elki, that is what happened. Well, I do hope you weren't too scarred by that game. I know that was a disappointing one for me, but <laughs> that's StarCraft. It's not always a fun game to watch, unfortunately. Well, hopefully the next one is better, and I hope to see you there.